Man, Blackfoot is a, uh, it's a small town. It's so friendly. Uh, the people here, are really nice. It's kind of, it's a kind of a blue collar agricultural town for the most part, but um, gosh, everybody is just so nice. Blackfoot First Baptist, I think it was 1908, if I remember uh, that it was founded. Um, there were, there was a great season of the church just doing really well for, for quite a while. There were two pastors that were let go or fired or moved on uh, back to back over the course of uh, probably 10 years. And, and it was that idea of we don't want to let go of our traditions and what we really like uh, about how things have been and things further dissolved and uh, the church got down to uh, about seven people on one Sunday morning, maybe with an average of 12 to 15 people. Uh, when the region sent in Dick Seip as the transitional pastor, really to determine should the doors shut or can this be a viable church in this community? And uh, Dick, being who he is, uh, quickly, early on, said, oh yeah, there's a lot uh, available here in this town. Like, there, this, we don't need to shut the doors. Charles was the one who, who reached out and just said, hey, um, you know, this, we've got a church in our region that's in need of a pastor. Would you be willing to check it out? Uh, God just made it really clear to us that this, is, this, this was where we were to come and uh, just flung wide open some doors and we said all right we're gonna we're gonna do this what the region did for this local congregation was it it met some pretty significant needs in the in the transition time there's a sense of of and the, the light is dawning and so the darkness is is fleeing I think there are a lot of people who are really open to truth, uh, to Jesus, and and because of that, um, I don't know, there's just a lot of hope and there's a lot of, um, I think a lot of vibrancy. We just really all the time simply say, um, we want to help people follow Jesus wherever you come from, and your past doesn't have to define your future. Um, that God can can take the mess that you've made of your life and weave it together in His grace for something beautiful.